Cherie Taylor with the Divas Dish, and I have one Diva of the Theater with me, and one Gent of the Theater with me. As you know, Hello Dolly's in town this week. I got to see it last night opening night starring Miss Betty Buckley. It was fantastic. You guys were fantastic as well. Thank you. This, no, thank you. It was a great show. I loved it. I think the first time I saw Hello Dolly was years and years ago. I was a little kid. I saw the Barbara Streisand video mm -hmm. years and years and years ago. And so it's like this one always been one of my favorites growing up doing theater. Hello Dolly was one of my favorites. Um, Tell us about your involvement in the show, who you are. I mean, I, every, when I saw you this morning, I also wanted to go, ah! <laughs> When you see the show, you'll understand. So, um, I play a character called, named Ermengarde, and I am the niece of the half-a-millionaire Horace Vandergelder, and I fall in love with Colin's character, mm -hmm. Ambrose Kemper, who is an artist. And so... The first time you see me, I am always I'm always crying throughout the entire show. But the first time you that. see me, yeah. you know, you just gotta really express those feelings. I know, it's like all that teenage yeah, age because teenage you're playing a seventeen exactly. year old. Exactly. So, yeah. um, so the first time you see me is um, an altercation I have with. Um, Horace Vandergelder and I'm saying that I want to marry Ambrose Kemper and he tells me no and that's when Dolly gets involved. Absolutely and of course being an artist yourself, playing yes. an artist, I'm sure you've heard the excuses, oh you don't want to marry an artist, you don't want to be <laughs> with an artist because those people, I'm one of those people too so I understand. So tell us about your involvement in the show. Well I, she, when I enter the stage she refers to me as the starving artist so immediately. <laughs> but you paint cows, it's yeah, all good. Yeah, painting the cows in the sunset but uh, <laughs> I start out with Dolly, and we're, I'm kind of very stressed because I'm just so infatuated with Ermengarde, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to get to the city, to to get to Yonkers in order to to make see it her happen. exactly. Yeah, you got to make it happen because he was going to marry you off to someone else yeah, real fast. Some city really, you know, probably very wealthy as well. Exactly. So mm -hmm. um, the two of us, Dolly comes up with this idea that. Uh, she's going to enter us into a big polka contest, mm -hmm. but neither of us dance So throughout the show you find us in different places like learning how to dance mm -hmm. And so we go into the polka competition pretty cold, but um, yeah. I don't want to give it away So I'll let you come and see the they show. They did pretty but well. They we did, did do, uh, do. We, did, yeah. we did pretty well yeah, you did <laughs> much a lot in just one day. Yeah, you know what? That's amazing. Maybe you can <laughs> come give dance tough. lessons here, you know Get off tour for a couple of days come back and give some dance lessons because yeah. I'm like that's really a polka That's amazing <laughs> <Honestly>. <laughs> The show is just it's, uh, Dolly Levi teaching people to dance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's a, a professional. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And of course, Dolly Levi is pay, played by Miss Betty Buckley. And yes. um, you guys are on tour. What? Um, how long is this tour? When did you start on this uh, particular tour? I began at the, at the beginning. We started rehearsals in New York in last August okay. of 2018. Oh, wow. And we opened in Cleveland on October, in October, the first week of October. And we've been going ever since, but Colin joined. I joined in March with the new Barnaby, and mm -hmm. we were placed in March and have been, we're, we're going to be going on through May next year. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, wow, that's a, that's a long run. That's great. So you're getting to see the country and see yeah. so many so many parts of the country. And, of course, welcome. This is both your first time here in South Carolina, yes, right? Yes, it or is. Yeah. So, so are you enjoying the heat? We turned it up just for you. <laughs> <laughs> I Actually, I love it. It's funny. We've been traveling for such a long time, and it feels like rain has followed us everywhere we've gone. So when the cast got here, we were like, it's going to be sunny while we're here. It's so amazing. And then after a while, you're going to become Southerners. You know you've been in the South too long when you say this expression it's not the heat it's the humidity mm -hmm. <laughs> because it will happen you're curly headed and I'm guessing you have some waves in oh, that yeah. hair as well yeah. yeah so yeah your hair will be this big that's why I keep <laughs> mine up during the summer oh yeah I could take it out and show you but it's scary it's scary it's got a life of its own so anyway the uh, Peace Center has the show until Sunday it runs um, it started last night so it runs um, even on the weekend there are two shows Saturday and Sunday but each night as well and the show start at 7 30 and of course you've got the two shows on Saturday and Sunday so lots of chances to see Hello Dolly you do not want to miss it it is a great show and um, I've got to ask you this how close to the original did um, they want to keep it because it's pretty darn close yeah so our show I think does a really great job at um, paying homage to the original especially in the waiters gallop mm -hmm. um, oh my gosh yeah, yeah. but I also think what's so special about this production is how it transcends the 
timeliness like mm-hmm. you know it yeah, is so it's, timely that mm-hmm. it can reach a younger generation mm-hmm. as well oh absolutely so we, there's a story for everyone whether you relate with our love story or Dolly and Horace mm-hmm. or Irene and Cornelius yeah there's something they're for so everyone. sweet there's yeah. there's the love there and there's also the guys in the shop that just want to want to you know do better for themselves yeah and, they, and I like how they play it up like the big spenders that's so funny it's so <laughs> funny that is so true that's what guys you do. love every character too. every yeah even, every even character. Horace who's such a grump he's by the end of the show you're like oh my goodness I know he's such a grump he's like I don't want to marry you <laughs> I don't want to marry you but I don't want to marry you yeah. it's perfect oh I gave it away <laughs> <laughs> come see the show it's at the Peace Center and of course for more information you can go to our website magic989.com you can also go to peacecenter.org to grab your tickets because you definitely want to see the show it's fantastic and if you see the actors walking around downtown Welcome them to Greenville and stop them in one of the local shops and get them an ice cream or something. It's <laughs> hot out here. You guys will love that. So thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you.